first, let me at least thank Senator Edler for bringing forth uh, some legislation on child care and an attempt to address Iowa's workforce crisis. But this ain't it. If you think for one minute that this is going to do anything to solve the workforce crisis in Iowa, you are dead wrong. If anything, it will only make things worse. The first five years of a child's life are the most important. The most important. It lays the foundation for their entire life and their, and their learning. And if there's ever a time when people, young people need to have one-on-one -on -one intervention or interaction with an adult, it is in those first three years and first five. And now we are increasing. I want to know how many people in here have taken care of seven two-year-olds at one time who are trying to get potty trained, they need to be fed, they make messes, they have to get changed, they're fighting with each other because they haven't quite learned how to share and get along with others yet. Senator Bizignato was talking in our caucus a little earlier that he and his wife care for one grandchild. It's two, and he said, my God, it takes both of us, and we're dead tired by the end of the day. Now add six more. This is about the safety of children. Why would we ever think about compromising that? Why? Now, I know the governor's running around and handing out $1,000 to child care workers yet, and I'd like to say thank you, President Biden and Democrats in Congress, because they're the ones that sent us that money. It is not our money. It didn't come out of the state coffers. And it was money that too many people on the other side of the aisle publicly criticized. But they're getting it, and I'm glad they are. So thank you to those in Washington, D.C., who made it happen. I listened to Senator Adler and he mentioned that, you know, these are just following recommendations from the federal level. Just so you know, those recommendations haven't been changed in over 20 years. And now that I found that out, I'm going to make sure I do get a hold of this administration to review that. Because child care has changed dramatically over the last 20 years. We've learned a whole lot more about child, de child development and brain development over those years, and the critical importance of those first five years. The recommendations, and I will say that they are apples, you are comparing apples to oranges. I looked at the chart, and, they, and the federal guidelines are very different than the, how we assemble ours here in Iowa. The Department of Human Services initially put these ratios in place based on experiences. Experiences that they had seen over a number of years in our child care centers. This wasn't just they grab these numbers out of the air and put them into the, the rules and the law. It was based on something factual, based on experiences going around in the state. It was mentioned that this was part of the governor's task force. Well, I need to say that the members of that task force thought that the department was going to review the ratios, not change them. They're quite frustrated. You know, what is so interesting to me is that the most vulnerable people in our state, whether it is children, young children, children or adults with some kind of disability, or our older citizens who are now in nursing care because of dementia or whatever it may be, the people that we entrust to take care of them and keep them safe are the least paid in our society. The least. What does that say about us? What does that say about us? Do we really think that kids are our most valuable, important resource when the very people we entrust to take care of them, when we are not able to as a parent, we pay the least? 
or when any one of us someday may be in a nursing home and need a CNA to help take care of us because we are no longer continent. I watched my mom. She died on my daughter's birthday this summer. I watched what dementia did to her. And we took care of her for years until we couldn't anymore. I lost my mom long before the day she died. At least the mom I knew. But my family entrusted people to take care of her in those final years. And we pay them 12 bucks an hour? Really? Really? You want to solve a workforce crisis? Pay them! You can't think we're going to get, attract young people to go into child care or to take care of our seniors in nursing care or to take care of our kiddos with autism or behavioral issues if we don't pay them. How many of you would do this for 10 bucks an hour? I don't see too many hands going up. You want to solve a workforce crisis, pay them. We are one of the lowest wage states in the country. What are we trying to do? Compete with the state of Mississippi to come in last on everything? Our low wage state has not served us well, members. Pay them. If you pay them, they're going to come. I ask you to vote no. Thank you, Mr. President.